everybody, and welcome back to Shay's Army Dog Ray. My camera, I, I gotta fix my camera. Hang on. Sorry. Right. But then it's like it's almost cutting my head, my neck off. I get it too far either way. See? Sorry, y'all. Back it just a moment a little bit. Today is Friday, January 26, 2018. It's 1.51 p.m. right now. I'm here by myself, except for Butch. Elizabeth's at work. Albert's not at the shop working, but he's gone working. Anyway, um, so I expect her to come in anytime now, so I'm trying to get my videos done. I done made another one a while ago, and now I'm making this one. Neither's going up today. It'll be other days. But anyway... This is another Saturday Shay's New Storytelling. Yay! Y'all, I'm running out of stories. I must have told all of my memories. Is that possible? I have so many. <sighs> but I have only, I had only four wrote down. So the least one I did random.org. The least one was one. The most was four. I generated, it gave me three. So the story for today I had named... Slumber Party After Married. So, when I was a kid and a teenager at home growing up, I was spoiled and I loved it. Thank you, Mama. I had a great childhood. Um, and I had lots of friends and my Mama always let me have friends over to spend the night. She always let me go spend the night with friends. And we just had so much fun and played games and all kind of stuff. And um, so I loved all that. So I met Albert, my husband. I was either 17, fixing to turn 18. Or maybe I had just turned 18. But. It, um, for my 18th birthday, I had a slumber party. Um, and, um, uh, but when I turned 18, it was the year of 1986, yeah, and, uh, in September 21st, that's my birthday, and, um, so... I'm thinking it was like shortly after I turned 18 that I met Albert. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Yeah, my birthday's in September, and I think I met him in October. Um, so, I met him in October of 1986, and I had just turned 18 in September. And me and him got married... The very next year, 1987, March, March the 14th. So I was still 18 years old when I got married. So, October, November, January, February, March. From the time we met to the time we got married. Yep. It was too soon. Oh, well, what do you do? Anyway... Um, <laughs> so, once I got married, I figured, okay, I'm married, I'm an adult now, no more fun, <laughs> no more slumber parties, no more friends, <laughs> but, um, my, uh, it was like, it was, I had Elizabeth, our first baby, in 1988. That's when she was born. And I'd gotten married in 1987. So, 1988 in August, August the 1st, she was born. And we lived in a trailer in town, kind of a little trailer park-like. My granny lived in that same trailer park. There was one trailer between my granny's trailer and our trailer. 
and she would be my babysitter during the day if I had to go to town and didn't want to bother taking the baby. I'd get Granny to come sit with the baby and I'd go to town and do what I need to do and come back. I love that. <laughs> anyway, so we lived there, okay? And um, my husband had to go out of town to work. And he was going to be gone for two or three days. And I jumped on it. I missed my friends and I missed my slumber parties. So I jumped on it and I said, Hot dog, I'm having me a slumber party. <laughs> so I planned a slumber party and I invited a lot of my friends over to spend the night and have a slumber party. And I was always, I planned it out. I didn't just say, okay, let's have a slumber party. And then just, you know, us not plan, not plan anything. Just everybody show up and then we just kind of sit around and talk like girls do and do your hair and, you know, talk about boys. I didn't do that kind of sort of thing. I planned my slumber parties out. I planned the type of food we were going to have, and it was always desserts included. I planned out exactly what we were going to do from the time they walked in my door till the next day when they walked out of my door. You know, I planned it out. We were going to play party-type games, which wasn't board games, and I had a lot of board games. We were going to play party-type games, and, you know, which is the... I don't know any other way to describe it. Party games, I guess, but it's not board games. It's just fun and joking type games that you laugh and and things like that that you play party-wise. And then you have your board games to play. So there was a time we was I, I did a few, planned a few party type games, and, a, and then I planned for us to play, you know, two or three of my board games I had. And then the time we were going to eat during the party... And we always, back when I was at home, we always did crazy things like we did prank calls on the phone. That's when we had home phones, you know, and stuff like that. That was fun. And, and you know, daredevil stuff like we would run outside in the middle of the night and do something or whatever, you know. Having, just having fun, go time. That was when I was at home. But anyway, I planned this party, but I had Elizabeth. Okay, she was my baby at the time. Wasn't even a year old yet. And I wanted to have a good old slumber party without my baby. Without having a baby to take care of. Now that may sound bad to some of y'all, but it ain't. It don't mean I didn't love her. I just wanted to have a good old fashioned slumber party with my friends. So... I asked my mama if she would keep Elizabeth, and she kept her. Elizabeth spent the night with Mama and Daddy all night long that night. And um, I had my slumber party. My friends came over, and I had the games planned out. I had the food. And I remember some things that we did. See, this goes the memory thing again, like on the topic thing. I remember some things, but some things I don't remember. But I know we did more than this. I'm sure we played board games. I'm sure we played party games. I do remember that we done this one thing, even though I was already married and I done had a baby. We, I used to do this a lot, too, with my friends before I got married. I had heard about it. So we took a penny and hung it on this, a string, and then we would hold it up and be real still, and then it would start moving on its own. And if it went around in a circle, you was going to have a girl. And if it went long ways, straight and long ways, you was going to have a boy. So, you know, I remember we did that. And this was after I got married and I already had a baby, you know. But my friends weren't married and didn't have a baby. And I, you know, could have another baby and didn't know what it was going to be. So we always enjoyed. That's what I mean. That was kind of, I, I consider that a party game, one of those type things. And then it seemed like I remember something about a fortune telling, which that'd be a fortune telling kind of thing. But another kind of fortune telling kind of thing. I can't remember what it was. I just remember doing something about another kind of fortune telling thing. But, and I remember us sitting up late and talking and each of us talking and each of the, my friends talking and telling something about they had done in their past seemed like. And so that was my slumber party after I got married and it was fun and I enjoyed it. 
And then, you know, of course, we slept late the next morning, and then they got up and got around, and we'd eat, and then they left, and then I went and got Elizabeth. It was just, you know, a one-night slumber party, but I think Albert was gone two or three days or something like that. But because he was leaving, you know, I jumped on it and said, I'm having a slumber party! <laughs> and it was fun, and I enjoyed it, and that's my little storytelling memory about that. So, I hope y'all enjoyed that story. And, um, y'all need to start telling stories of your own in videos so I can watch them and listen to them. Thank you very much. Alright, guys, that's all I have for you for now, so I guess I will say those words. <laughs> I'm out of here until next time I'm done, I'm going to the loo.